Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Manny Pacheco with Forgotten Hollywood and Celebrating Act 2. Boy, Cinecon is in full swing. The sights and sounds, you never know who you're going to run into. We've got Alan K. Road here, uh, author, and you set up all kinds of film noir festivals, including the Ellen K. Uh, including the Arthur Lyons Film Festival in Palm Springs, and you've been working with Eddie Muller uh, with a film noir. You're, you're like Mr. Film Noir. I, I, uh, that, is my, that is my standard identification, and that and a whole lot more. It's just good to be here at Cinecon uh, at the Hollywood Legion Theater. I'm a member of the Legion Post 43. I'm actually the chair of the theater committee as a uh, former Navy veteran or a Navy veteran forever, so it's great to be back having Cinecon here in my theater, should I be so bold to say. And let me ask you, I mean, you've just put, this is a question we haven't been able to put out. Who are some of the famous actors uh, from Hollywood's Golden Age that belong to this, uh, this chapter of American Legion? This, this Art Deco building was built in 1929, and it was funded as a tribute to World War I veterans in Hollywood. And the film community, led by people like Cecil B. DeMille, Adolph Manjou, all of those people, funded the construction of this building. Now, seven years ago, there was a large auditorium, and it underwent a, about a $7 million overhaul that turned it in the state-of-the-art theater that the films are being shown here for Cinecon today. So this building has a lot of history. There's the Oak Bar downstairs, where Clark Gable and Humphrey Bogart used to hang out and play pool. Uh, it, this is part of the living history of Hollywood, and uh, it's, done, it's, uh, it's a great job that it's been preserved the way it is. Well, isn't it a natural collaboration between Cinecon and this, this Legion Theater uh, to, to be able to do this? I mean, the partner, partnership should, should have happened a, a, a while ago. Absolutely. I mean, Cinecon is now 58 years old. The Hollywood uh, Legion Post 43 building is a lot older than that. So this, uh, I think, Cinecon and the Hollywood Legion Theater go together like ham and eggs. <laughs> now, look, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about your book, the fabulous, fabulous biography on Michael Curtiz. I mean, you talked about Humphrey Bogart. Of course, Michael Curtiz made so many great films, and of course, uh, we can run them down, but I want to hear from you, what was the inspiration of picking such an iconic director? Well, I was asked uh, by the series editor, Patrick McGilligan, uh, are you writing another book after Charles McGraw? And I said, well, I'm thinking about it. And he said, how about a director? And I thought about Jules Dassin, who I knew slightly, and then I thought, can I go to Greece and can I spend a lot of time in France? And I came back to Curtiz because no one had really done a soup to nuts biography. And what cinched it is my good friend, the actor Dick Erdman, who is sadly no longer with us, he signed out of high school with Warner Brothers after doing a cold audition with Curtiz, had this wonderful story, and we were having drinks one night, and he said, you gotta write a book about Mike. You gotta write a book. He was my champion. So that cinched it, and originally it was gonna be like uh, 300 pages in two years, and it took me six years and 700 pages. And you cover all of them. The Adventures of Robin Hood, Casablanca, the movie he made with Elvis, uh, King Creole, I believe. King Creole. Yeah, and, and of course, White Christmas. I mean, he did all genres. Well, yeah, and what's interesting about Curtiz is that his work remains revered because, as you just alluded to, we celebrate Yuletide by watching White Christmas. We uh, celebrate Independence Day with Yankee Doodle Dandy, and every time we watch Casablanca, we fall in love all over again. But no one really knew who Michael Curtiz was other than these kind of anecdotal stories about how he mangled English and yelled at actors and was mean and everything. And, and of course, the truth is a lot more interesting than the fiction. As a devoted cinephile, what are you looking to watch at Cinecon? Well, to be honest with you, I just walked in the door with my wife and Jimmy Hunt, uh, who I know slightly, and uh, I'm like every other baby boomer of my age. When I saw Invaders from Mars, I was traumatized. I had nightmares. So I am here tonight to see the restored Invaders from Mars that Scott McQueen and a lot of other people have done such great work on, because it's part of my childhood, part of my life. 
and I want to come tomorrow to see my friend Patty McCormick, who I haven't seen in quite a while, and say hi to her and enjoy all the movies I can. Well, we really appreciate all the work you do to keep cinema alive, especially classic cinema. And Alan K. Road, if you want to visit him, uh, and, and read, read his book, because his book is the definitive uh, biography on Michael Curtiz. One more thing. My last name's pronounced Rody, not Rode, but you're oh, forgiven. I, well, you're there you go. Oh, my forgiven. gosh. Alan K. Rody, I'm Manny Pacheco, Forgotten Hollywoods, uh, celebrating Act Two here at Cinecon. <laughs> <You just, laughs> now you tell me. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.